Hello and welcome all my beautiful, vibrant hearts and ephemeral souls who are Scorpio suns, have big Scorpio placements, or are cross watchers for Scorpio. Welcome to your month ahead messages looking at the month of November 2024. I want to wish all my November Scorpios a very, very happy birthday. Um, I hope it brings beautiful blessings to you. If you are looking for love messages more specifically, I have a tier on my Patreon that looks at just that. So that's going to be linked down below. Gives you access to all of the month ahead zodiac love messages. Ah, itch. Um, so you can watch for your sun, moon, rising, Venus, whatever tickles your fancy, whatever you like, you know, don't let me tell you how to do your thing. Um, yeah, so that's down below is what I'm trying to say, long-windedly and circuitously. The way that things are going to work today, I will pull an oracle card to look at overarching themes for your month ahead. I will then clarify for the <laughs> with the tarot for further details and messages. You guys, if I could talk, let me just move my tea. Um... After we have gone through all those messages at length, I will then pull a card from the Lover's Oracle for your major overarching theme when it comes to love and major overarching tarot themes for love. That's what we're going to explore on Patreon. So if what comes out there sounds like it's of interest to you, um, it resonates, you know, you're like, oh, yeah, what's up? That might be a sign that there are messages there for you. <clears throat> okay. Um, <clears throat> Do you guys hear that? That was my stomach. That's bonkers. I thought, this is bad, but I thought it was a dog outside. It's fine. <laughs> We're fine. Um, so because it is November, it is a time of harvest, of plenty, of gratitude, of thanks. Um, for those who are in the U.S. and you celebrate Thanksgiving time, it's just a time to kind of gather close with our loved ones and celebrate what's worth, you know, what makes life worth living. Um, my intention is that I'm going to be looking at something this month that is going to be a point of gratitude for you. So this could be something where you're actively feeling grateful for it. This could be some like bit of good fortune coming your way. This could be something where maybe in the past you've done something and it manifests now and you're like, I'm really grateful I did that or I'm really grateful I didn't take that path. Uh, there could be something starting this month that you will look back at in the future and have gratitude be like, oh wow, it all started there and like, I'm so grateful for that. Um, <clears throat> this also could be where if you have a gratitude practice, the themes that come out might kind of give you insight about where to direct that gratitude practice for to best like optimize your energy. So gratitude is going to be a central theme of whatever the message is today. So with that, let's see what you get. No, it's not that one. It is this one though. What was the one it wasn't? <clears throat> practice tenderness. Okay. <laughs> excuse me that might be a subsequent theme that's really really important for you uh i'm getting this energy of taking a gentle hand so there <clears throat> excuse me <laughs> there could be something excuse me my allergies and asthma are really bad today there could be something you took a gentle hand with and it um it changed the situation that's card 32 so that reduces to a five five is the number of challenges and changes there could be a challenge in your life again you took a gentle hand like you uh incorporated tenderness into your approach and i feel like that actually changed the dynamic it changed the energy in a very like positive way <clears throat> um this could be with people in your community or people in your neighborhood it does not have to be, but it changed the dynamic in a very, very positive way. Like that's what made the difference. So maybe normally if you'd go in hard about something, <coughs> excuse me, taking a softer approach actually like really behooved you in the end. Pause for reflection is at the bottom. We have card 15 here and 15 reminds me of the devil card in the tarot. So for some of you, this is just how you handle things within self, right? And so maybe if you are very hard on yourself, this is where taking that gentle approach really um, actually yielded the breakthrough you were looking for. We've engaged trust when I cut the deck and love unabashedly. So some of you, this is like, um, this is like taking a softer approach with somebody else. Um, this is This is taking a softer approach and again, a more loving approach. It feels like either in your self-love um, or with another, <clears throat> excuse me, for some, you have somebody who has been extending the hand of love and it's like you're softening to them a little bit. And this is something that there's actually bringing a lot of gratitude, a lot of like an abundant energy into your life. So let's get more details. Okay, we have embrace stillness. You've had a lot of lotuses show up on your imagery with card seven here. Um... It feels like there is there has been again this pause, this gentleness being in your feminine energy where you're receptive, you're nurturing, you're at rest. 
Um, that's actually yielded quite a lot. Seven is a number of spiritual reflection, but at a very internalized level. Um, it feels like this has been the path of enlightenment with just like the path ahead and the multiple lotuses. This has been the path of enlightenment. This is yielding a lot of insight. Um, it's just like taking this softer energy again. A lot of you guys, you could be very powerful people. We know how Scorpio can be powerful people. Um, you're not afraid to take action. You're not afraid to, um, you know, it's that Mars energy. So you're not afraid to burn something down if it's not working. It feels like you took a different approach here. And there's kind of this sense of I'm going to, I'm going to let things kind of blossom in their own right. I'm going to let things kind of be what they are, show themselves to be, um, and there's that engaged trust energy as well. And again, like love unabashedly. It feels like, like again, meeting yourself or others with love and compassion. Others may have met you with love or compassion. And that's actually what's making the difference, right? Something is moving in its own order, in its own pacing, and not trying to, yeah, five, five, five on the timer, not trying to judge it or push it in a certain direction. These are big changes that I feel like are coming as a result. Yep. Ace of Swords. <laughs> okay two of cups yeah this is a relationship i don't like to like jump to that immediately but you have love unabashedly in the two of cups like come come on four of cups oh and the world <laughs> i really like this okay five of wands in reverse at the bottom so a key theme in this has been to let go of chaos right we think about the five of wands as outside influence which it usually is um we have hummingbirds very significantly, by the way, because they're showing up on two of these cards. It was on the um, Embrace Tenderness card. We also have blue jays and we have monarch butterflies in case any of that's significant. Um, <clears throat> but the five of wands can also just sort of indicate, especially when it's reversed, more like chaotic energy within self. There could just be a lot going on. <clears throat> um, it feels like you might be in a period of pause or you have been in a period of pause when it comes to somebody very special. This is somebody that you love or that you have very deep feelings for. This is somebody that you have a soul bond with. <laughs> now, kiss. Um, you have a soul bond with. This is somebody who you may have rejected them in the past. They could have rejected you with the Four of Cups. Um... You guys could have been friends or could be friends and wondering if there's something more here. And I feel like there's like an energy here of not pushing things, right? Embracing the timing and the cycles. So what's happening in November that you can feel grateful for, there is truth coming through. There is understanding, right? I think it's always really interesting in this deck that the yarrow is growing through a barbed wire fence. So there's a sense here of even through difficulty, even through challenge, um, you may have just decided not to react to that. Again, I feel like the lesson for you guys was with the five of wands to reverse, possibly to not listen to other people, but just to not engage with chaotic energy, whether it's within self or externally, the moon, and to follow your intuition. Look at how we have, again, the cycles projected here, or not projected, depicted. There we go. I knew I'd get there eventually. I'm like, wait for it. Um... There's something here about trusting the timing and the cycle. So you even could have, like, let's say this is somebody that's very important to you. You could have had people in your life be like, oh, you know, screw them. Like, leave them behind or, like, they don't, you know, it's never going to happen. And you're like, no, there's something here just because that moon energy is very intuitive. Um, and so it feels like you're finally getting some type of clarity with this person that you really needed clarity with. You guys could be having a talk, having a conversation um, I feel like you're finding the ways in which you're more similar than you are different. You're birds of a feather. Um, it feels like this period of non-action, because sometimes this is, to me, this is emotionally not participating. So this could be somebody sitting on the sidelines. Again, that's a rejection energy. Um, this period of <clears throat> non-action and of emotional pause and stillness is coming to a close. There is something new, and I feel like it's a very vibrant, beautiful new cycle that's going to be beginning, but let's get some more details. What is this Ace of Swords? So again, this is a talk you guys, <laughs> yeah, okay. The Hanged Man, you gotta like cry. The Hanged Man and the Ten of Cups. I feel like after a period of pause with this person, you could be dealing with a Pisces. That's a lot of P words in one, like, <laughs> in one small for a period of time. Yeah, there's the five of wands reversed at the bottom once again. Um, after a period of pause, I feel like you guys are having some type of talk where you are acknowledging 
<clears throat> either how important you are to each other or you're acknowledging that you both want the same things. You both have the same vision of happily ever after. Um, it feels like this person could be telling you how happy that you make them. Again, you could have the same like vision for the future. It feels like with this path imagery, like this conversation is going to kind of open up this path of like, okay, I see what <clears throat> it's like this. I feel like the major gratitude point is I see why everything unfolded the way it did. Everything has purpose. Everything kind of comes together in universal and divine order, right? So this conversation is really going to be shedding light on this, right? Um, and for some, it might not be like a direct conversation. It's just something you kind of feel, you realize. But for many, I feel like this is a direct conversation you and this person are having. Um, this person could be telling you and or showing you how important that you are. With the Ten of Cups, you could be introducing them to your family. They could be introducing you to their family, <clears throat> especially with the holidays coming up. But it's like uh, some of you could be talking about like a home together. But it's kind of like this energy of by waiting for this person to be ready, it's it's not only was it not only was it a point of growth but it feels like it's kind of like this recognition right this realization of like oh this is actually everything i've ever wanted right um and maybe this person needed to realize that maybe this person needed the time it's like you guys are both the ten of cups for each other and there's the sense of like there's so much potential here this is so beautiful and so i feel like there's a sense of gratitude for that process what is the four of cups about I saw the Wheel of Fortune. So again, there's timing that was really important. The moon showing up again. So you may not have known what's going on with this person and ended up feeling really rejected. Um, vice versa as well. Like this could be where you weren't really sure about what was going on. Um, there could be a little bit of mirroring, a little back and forth. But there's a sense here of like having to wait for the right timing. Five of Pentacles in reverse. The Five of Pentacles is either, you know, emotional or material poverty. So somebody could have been working on their finances and that could have been a big issue. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Somebody could have just kind of felt like they weren't good enough, not really believed in the power of like the love that's going on here. It's like not really believing in the power of this. And so it's like, why even bother, right? They didn't get too excited about it with the Four of Cups because they're like, eh you know, what's going on. It's coming out reverse, meaning this person's coming out of that energy. They may have needed more time to kind of like process. I have an itch on my leg. I'm sorry. To kind of process to like deal with some old issues. But it feels like they're releasing that. Yeah, the two of pentacles at the bottom, they could have also had other other responsibilities, like family responsibilities, work responsibilities that were kind of like making it <clears throat> so they were sort of checked out. They had other, you know, other things that they had to manage. So again, this is like, this was a uh, an exercise in patience and timing. So the two of cups in the world together, I want to kind of clarify this. The four of wands, you guys, that's so beautiful. I love it. And the Ten of Swords. I want to pull you in more, but I don't want to look at it yet. This feels like <coughs> you may not have known how this was going to go. I'm picking up almost this energy of like, this could be, you know, Two of Cups, Four of Wands. This could be my person. This could be my future spouse, right? This could be, this could be it. This could be like my, my counterpart type energy, or this could break my heart. Um, this person may have been healing from heartbreak. This person may have been healing from somebody they thought was their counterpart and they they were incorrect and they may have just been like really, really not trusting their judgment. Um, but it feels like there's a sense of somebody here is waiting for the other shoe to drop because again, tarot can go both ways. So you may have been in this energy as well and you're kind of coming out of this. Um, but because you got embraced stillness, I do feel like this is probably the other person you were dealing with, right? This is the thing you're grateful for is that you embraced stillness or you're embracing stillness. Um, it, yeah, there's like an energy with this version of the Ten of Swords of waiting for the other shoe to drop, waiting for the worst to happen. And some of you guys, it's like, that's what's coming to a close. There's a sense of like, I can breathe. I can exhale. I'm comfortable with this person. This person could be showing you or... Um, demonstrating to you in some kind of way that they see you as part of like their family they see you as a counterpart there's a lot of energy here of home and like marriage um or like you know serious partnership so this person could be trying to go out of their way to demonstrate that to you um 
you could be going to their home for the first time again you could be like meeting each other's families or something that's very significant we have the knight of wands in reverse i feel like i feel like somebody here was afraid this was not going to move forward and there's kind of that like okay it is yeah justice at the bottom there's a huge energy here of marriage <laughs> um so i feel like what you guys are feeling grateful for in the month ahead is that everything worked out the way it was supposed to it feels like your patience is being rewarded um you know if the if it's if it was you who was struggling through, through some challenging emotions it feels like you're coming out the other side and this person that you're you know you're connected to or you will soon be connecting with at a deeper level um was patient with you i want to kind of just get some like cards sort of round this out Ace of Wands in reverse, okay, the Four of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, it was this thing where it was just a timing issue. Seven of Cups. I feel like somebody just had a lot to deal with emotionally, and there was a lot to sort through and get clarity on, and this is very likely why you weren't seeing the same level of excitement and passion. They weren't opening up to you. It may not have been reciprocal. You could have gotten shot down, or again, vice versa, like if you're in this energy excuse my burp there just had to be a cycle that closed right there had to be a cycle that ended things had to move in their own timing and this feels a lot like it's about emotional renewal there's a card getting my attention the high priestess in reverse and i feel like you guys trusted your intuition you trusted that divine feminine energy and you waited and you paused um and that's what's getting rewarded or this person waited and paused for you and that's why you guys are able to come together now everything is is coming into form everything is coming into being if you're the one who has been very hurt in the past and you were trying to work through that it feels like by embracing your own cycles embracing the inner stillness that's actually what brings you into alignment with this person um it's like by dealing with your own feelings that's what sort of like opens this up you have a very beautiful relationship on your hands here um and it feels like it's flourishing it's blossoming there's a big step forward in the month of november somebody could be doing something for your birthday and it's just very very touching um so that's what I'm seeing for you guys for your month ahead messages. But I do want to pull your overarching themes when it comes to love. I feel like you guys will probably get some good ones. But let's see what you got. Let's see. I'm trying not to look because I know this deck well enough. Oh, you got two. I will take it. I'll honor it. So we have this bad boy. <laughs> it says time. You're trying too hard. Give it time. <coughs> I have thoughts. And then we have this one. I got covered a little bit because YouTube is afraid of boobs. This says, beware of what you're projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. And your overarching tarot themes. Yeah, we have the King of Cups in reverse. We have the Five of Cups in reverse. I like to see it. I like that very much. And we have death. There you are, Scorpio. So we are, and I want to say that the Page of Swords <clears throat> is at the bottom. So we are going to explore these in greater detail on Patreon. I want to thank you guys so much for being here with me, sharing your time and energy. It's a pleasure and a joy as always, and I will see you soon. Take care. Bye.